You know you should be glad With a love like that You know you should be glad And with a love like that You know you should be glad I am Jessie Turton and I am playing the part of Lucy Desmond. Lucy is a fictional character. Um, it's really interesting because obviously uh, in terms of the Beatles, nothing's kind of been kind of played before with gender roles being swapped. And I guess with Lucy, it's that potential of what if there was a female in the Beatles? What if there was, you know, what would the dynamic be like with the other band members if there was a female in the band? Um, Lucy is quite a feisty character. She really like, yeah, she really kind of brings this kind of fiery energy in. And yeah, there's some quite, there's quite a vulnerable side to her too, uh, which I really look forward to getting across on stage. I am Julian Sobri and I am playing Ringo Starr. Well, Ringo's Ringo, isn't he? If, if you know the Beatles, you know Ringo, he's the quiet, great drummer, the back of the bass, the best band in the world, so he's just, you know, along for the ride. The oldest are the lot, and I think it shows in his play as well, I think um, he's a lot more, he's subdued, but it's, I think it's because he's just admiring the other three being idiots, so that's how I take him from this play anyway. <laughs> so my name is Charlie Birchall and I'm playing the part of Michael McCartney, Paul McCartney's brother. Well, from what I know, I want to know from myself, He's a very cheeky lad, which I love personally because it reflects to me because I'm quite cheeky myself. Uh, but not only that though, he does have a soft spot for the band, the Beatles themselves, because he just wants to be with his brother and play a part of the band, which I do respect myself. Um, he's loving and he is caring too, because obviously he's Paul's little brother, but he's hilarious. I can't wait to show that. It was it was an eye-opening experience. It was it was the first time I've ever done anything like that, especially with like music involved. I've only done one play before this anyway, so it was all it was all new to me from when, when I'd written it and then finding out about like how, how difficult it is to get like PRS licenses and stuff like that. And certain venues don't have it. So once once it was written, I had a director on board, done some auditions, everything went well. So we put some auditions out, uh, got, got some good people involved and then some people couldn't make the actual date of the show that we were looking at so we lost a few people earlier on and then it turned into a bit of a, um, not a nightmare but it was a bit like by then we, we'd sorted the venue out and stuff like that and then it was trying to like play catch up, we'd lost cast members trying to get them involved and then it was some people have been in rehearsals for like you know four months or something so you know that, that's not great for them, it, it's, it's a bit boring, you know, doing the same stuff. But other people was playing catch-up. Um, we, had, we had a venue in mind and it fell through at the last minute. So with about five and a half weeks ago, we ended up in Epstein. So then it was only like five and a half weeks. It, it's a massive venue, it, it, it's a lovely place. Um, but it, it, was, it was hard work to, to get everything going. I had a good team behind me and stuff. The cast was great. They were they were understanding. Director was good. You know, she she done a lot of lot of work, a lot of lot of behind the scenes things. She she gave a good hand with stuff like she she took on roles 
kind of a producer as well. So my memories of the last time we did the play was uh, very positive. We uh, did the play at the Epstein Theatre, which was uh, quite a lot of pressure for me because I was playing uh, the man who the theatre was named after. So no pressure at all. And it was fantastic. Fell in love with the character. What a beautiful man Brian Epstein was. Uh, the camaraderie amongst everyone was fantastic as well. It was a, a community uh, feel, the cast. It, everyone just bonded so well. Everyone bounced off one another. It was really nice, really healthy. Oh gosh, so the first run was, well, it's been a year. Like a lot has happened in a year since we've, you know, um, been in the play. But I remember the first time getting on that Epstein stage and looking out, seeing so many people, being like, oh wow, there's a lot. There's a lot of people here. And yeah, just doing it the first time round, it was it was great to kind of work with such a intimate cast. We had such a, like, because we had like a cast of, I think it was like 12 of us, we all kind of got to know each other throughout the whole of the rehearsals and also like kind of play on some of the scenes as well and just see what gelled and what didn't. And yeah, like it was really nice to play around with it. Oh, I loved it. I loved the rehearsals. The rehearsals were brilliant. Um, I came into it late. I gelled in instantly because everyone was just dead, dead cool. Um, the rehearsals were all after. It was just, I've made friends for life and the rehearsals and the shows are, I think, phenomenal. I think we really hit it out the park. You've got a big couch, yeah. We've got mirrors going all the way around. Oh, you dress me. A tap. I'll, I'll um, just got an iron on board. <laughs> Two toilets. Just show you. Okay. Yeah. And that's it. It was an absolutely, it was an amazing feeling, especially to see her on a, on a stage. I think that's quite a big theatre and stuff like that. You know, I've only I've only ever had one play before, like I said, and it was in Hope Street. So the difference, the size of the venue, to see that up on on the stage, you know, up on the stage, it was it was a nice feeling because it was quite stressful at times. It, it was exciting as well, and you know, there was a lot going on, a lot of mixed emotions. But when when I seen her on there, it was a like, the hard work had paid off. It, 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 I really enjoyed the show and, and watching it like as an audience member as well. I, I kind of just took a back seat, back row, and, and just watched it like I was just part of the audience. And yeah, I really enjoyed it. It was, it was good. 